Oh, welcome everyone. Welcome to my SpongeBob gaming stream. Oh, you thought I was gonna diamond paint? <laughs> you are sorely mistaken. Okay, maybe I'll do some of that too. I'm gonna be lurking while I decorate for Christmas. <laughs> Let me see if I can pull you closer. Give me a little closer, chat. Get on here. Okay, I just have to do a little bit of stuff. I just started playing this on Sunday. Okay, this is just like a mini game within. I gotta... There, I did it. <laughs> I've been working at that. Although I could start working towards the next ones too. I'm trying to make these items, if you can see that. When was the last time you touched a diamond painting? The last time I streamed it, which was probably at least two months ago. <laughs> Today's stream will probably be kind of short because I got so much stuff to do. That's part of the reason why I'm diamond painting. I'm like, I don't want to start like oil paint and then only paint for like three to three and a half hours. I'm planning on ending the stream around like 3.30. It's 12 right now. Just need to do more prep for my friend coming over tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow I got to run a bunch. She's coming here tomorrow and she'll get here later in the day, but I got a bunch of errands to run tomorrow and I still got so much more house cleaning and stuff to do <laughs> today. I know I got to take down the Halloween decorations. I took down the outdoor ones, but I have more of the indoor ones to do. Okay. Sorry, this is probably like the most time consuming part of the game. <laughs> You're gonna watch me play SpongeBob and you are gonna like it. Wait, no, it's this one. This. I'm almost out of taps here, so to have no fear. Although I have some other stuff to do. I played this so much yesterday because I was like waiting for trick or treaters and I'm just like, Lee, Lee, Lee. sitting upstairs playing this. So I know what next three items I need, but I don't know how many of each I need. So I'm just going to try to make like at least two of each. We got one golden spatula. We got one of the hot dog piles. I don't have a donut box yet though, but I'm out of clicks for now, for an hour. So let's leave there. Now I do have some energy to spend. This is the SpongeBob Adventures in Jam. I think it's Adventures in Jam. We ended up getting 169 trick-or-treaters. So a little bit less than last year, but still a lot. How did Samara hold up after the snow? She's still in one piece. She still needs more work on her head. I really need that second wig to <laughs> complete it. But I took her in this morning. I took down the, out the outdoor decorations already. She's hanging in there. Her arms are attached, thankfully. And she's just draped across the table saw in the garage right now. Because I need her to kind of dry off. Like, I, I thought maybe I would take her coat off each year and wash it, but I'm like, I almost busted her arm getting the coat on. <laughs> that lab coat. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to clear out the space back here because I kind of want... This is like home base where this order board is, and so I kind of want a lot of the manufacturing stuff over here. So... I've kind of, I've kind of got this set up to be the farm area. Although it's still a little too close, the field is still a little too close to this stuff because there's, the jellyfish are always in the way. Harvest this corn and plant some more. Oh, I missed one. And they need more food. Oh, there it is. I was going to say I'm making some more. Let's make some oyster food too. They're hungry. Okay, there, they got three foods. More on the way. Okay, it wants me to watch an ad here, so we'll, I'll just mute it. <laughs> numbers were down at my place yesterday. Part of me wonders if the snow affected numbers, but at the same time, it was still pretty warm. Oops, stop my recording. It was still pretty warm, so. 
I don't know. I mean, it was nighttime, and nighttime's still cold. Someone complimented me on my Samara. The neighbor two doors down introduced herself and mentioned how she liked my Samara crawling out of the well thing. <laughs> I'm happy to announce I finished my eighth consecutive Inktober yesterday. You are a machine. How? <laughs> I had three trick-or-treaters, but it was the first ever in our new house. <laughs> i just have you on in the background work while working on my scrapbook. Nice. This will be our main view for the stream today. Oh, yeah. I hate the ads that make you go to the Play Store, and then you gotta back out, and then you can click an X. It's like, why? Why, did? Okay, back to this. Sorry, it's, like, kind of dark for the screen. It's like... As good as it's gonna get, unless I maybe turn this off. No. No. I mean, I could probably turn up the brightness for the top cam. I don't want it to be, oops. Oops. <laughs> I guess we're really only gonna use the top down camera for the SpongeBob moments because, because, ooh, this order will get me battery energy, which is like your big limited resource in this. I need two onion rings for that. Go to the Krusty Krab and make two onion rings, which are nice and quick to make, They're like five minutes each. Okay. Oh, I did have another oyster food. Okay, those are positioned kind of weird, but whatever. They can still eat it. Now we can do, okay, I'm gonna make sure I save two of those coral fries for that. I made a bunch of pins, which I can finally send off. Send. Send. Ooh, another battery one in this one we can send right away. Give me all the energy. Guys, we're gonna take forever to get to the diamond painting of this right. I got I got a lot of energy now. <gasps> another one. Now it wants me to watch another ad. I don't have to do it right now, but I'm gonna. Oh god, these ones are so cringy. I've been wanting to order some, but it's so expensive. Oh, I got these spiders with a gift card I earned on misplay. You're telling me you got that with gift cards? <laughs> anyway, it's just another one where she has this like really cheap cube bin, like the kind that go in the IKEA organizers. And then <laughs> it's always her talking to herself, but she's like, oh, where did you get those? Oh, I got off Amazon. She's like, oh, I always wanted those, but they're so expensive. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God. The ad is so cringe, but I actually don't mind that one because it's quicker than the last one I got. All right, we're back in business. I'm resource rich right now. I, I made a lot of stuff while I was sleeping. Like a lot of stuff that takes a long time to do. Okay. That's my last tartar sauce. Do I need it for something else? No. Okay, send it. Send it, bruh. Okay, anyway, let's ignore the orders now. Let's chop down some of these freaking trees and junk. Bought my first diamond painting the other day. It's arriving Saturday, can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna swap which side my alerts are on versus which side my chat is on. Hopefully alerts are working today. I did test ones before the stream started and they were working, so. I usually have my chat on the left, but I'm putting you on the right because I'm sitting a bit to the right today for the diamond painting. Because <laughs> I'm working on the right side of the painting. Love your art in your art room. Thank you. I did so much cleaning in here and I put up some ceiling lights, which you'll see in the vlog, which was a long time overdue. And I finally did it. Okay, we got Chabo and just stuff down. Cause I'm gonna put more buildings back here. Ooh, big boy, big rock. The smallest items are the most expensive to get rid of. They're these little wilted pieces of coral. Uh, I don't have one over here, but it's like a single piece of coral and it's like a limp. And it costs more than like a cluster of coral to remove. And I'm like, who? 
who allotted the amounts to this? This makes no sense. Okay, I only have 46 left. Ah! I have 10 left, so let's do this thing that is 9. Okay. Ooh, it's letting... <gasps> Wait, is that for this one? Wait, do that again. No! It brought up the option to play, watch an ad to finish it off. That almost never happens. We're gonna do that, we're gonna do it. The energy is so hard to come by. The fact that I have so much right now is a miracle. How was your Halloween? It was pretty good. On Saturday, went to a Halloween party. And it was really fun, despite the fact that I only knew the hosts. But I just got to know some new people is all. <laughs> and... Yeah, then yesterday, I was doing a bunch of cleaning down here, and then I got kind of like dressed up in a spooky way and handled the trick-or-treating, and it was fun. I got lots of compliments on my decor. Okay. That was actually a good chunk of clearing. Holy crap! We oh, are yeah, onion rings. Wait, do we have a. Oh, the other one's. Fit. Okay, it's only 60 seconds away. We gotta wait. Maybe in the meantime, let's make more stuff. I will need four burgers for that order. Two fives. I mean, I guess I might as well get that going. Let's maybe make some of this and then the five. The five take like 45 minutes each, but I'm streaming, so it's okay, I guess. I guess. Thing is, I can only run so many businesses at a time. Like, you only have so many bikini bottomites. And, like, the Krusty Krab, you only need one employee for, but then, like, some of the other ones, you need three. And I'm like, well, I can't even get more bikini bottomites until I level up. But these new establishments take three employees each, and I'm like, how am I supposed to get anything done around here? How am I supposed to get anything done around here? Okay, now let's let that sit. And let's do some of the, ooh, oh my god. I keep pressing the record button instead of the swap camera button. But Yeah, 169 trick-or-treaters. I woke up from Halloween, saw snow, and nearly cried. Like a happy cry or a no. sad cry. <laughs> this is literally the coldest October since I was a kid. Whoa. And the onion ring. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> They're done. Now we can do this one, which gets us energy, which I need to go spend that energy now. Because, like, energy you auto-accumulate over time when you're not playing the game. But it's up to a maximum of 50. And I just earned 30. So, like, we gotta go spend this 30, bro. We'll use 18 on that tree. <laughs> also, I clicked this, like, little Halloween icon last night. And it's like, oh, Halloween event, you were first place. And I was like, what are you talking about? Is this like a pool of five people or something? <laughs> like, how am I first place? <laughs> and so I got these pumpkin items, and when I clicked on them, they just exploded and released so much candy, which you can exchange for energy. And so I was just sitting there for so long, like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I got in so much gameplay last night. Hey, okay, where's my knife? Sad cry because I have to shovel off the car. Yeah, I'm glad I have a garage now. Although if I'm parked somewhere for an extended period of time and it's snowing, I still have to brush the snow off. In Vancouver, I was always parked outside, but there wasn't as much snow there. I mean, that one time I really dumped it, practically buried my car.
What is that? It's like a little piece of paper stuck on there. Okay, where's the corner of the plastic? I don't think that that corner was cut very cleanly. Hopefully those are still sticky. Also, why did this just rip off? Hey! What a rip off! I need this piece intact in case I gotta stick it back down. Cause like, I don't think I'm gonna finish this section during today's stream. It's gonna be a bit of a shorter stream cause I got stepped to death. Okay, get over here. This plastic is so impossible to see, which is why I put the washi tape down so I can see what area I'm working in. Although there's a bit of a washi gap here, but I was just reusing the piece I had from before. Okay. Well, let's start with that little yellow diamond fall guy's eyes. Which is this one. Hey everybody. False advertising I'm suing. This is a game stream, not a diamond painting stream. Will she spill the diamonds? Oh god. The predictions when I was filling the the jars. So good. Oh. I'm spilling. I feel like I should get a bigger tray. Of all the diamond painting accessories I should get, bigger tray I think would be the most useful. Wow! We broke ground! <laughs> I've got this diamond painting on my wish list. I'm graduating a semester early and was getting sad to leave my friends, but then it just started snowing in Ithaca, New York. And I'm like, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't mind the snow too much, but I don't like when the roads are icy. What beautiful art. Who's the real artist? Christian. I mean, I did it myself, I swear. He's just the secret mastermind behind the whole operation. I'm just the face of the company. Oh, you have to walk 20 to 30 minutes to class. Yeah, I wouldn't like the snow for that. I'm just like, come back, Summer. You know. I mean, summer's nice, but like, it's too hot. I want to see the pretty snow. Like in general, or you mean where I live? Right now it's all half melted. It's like not very pretty per se right now.
I want to see where I am. New York had a big snowstorm and I, it missed my town. My puppy discovered snow for the first time Monday. It was so cute. <laughs> Okay, I hate when there's like these little chunks of plastic. And for some reason, this color has a bunch of them. It's like little duty dots. And I'm like, get out of here. Even a big chunk here, big shard. Hello, hello, I'm at work, but I shall attempt to watch. <laughs> Do you mean nature snow or snow? Sniff, sniff. Oh, God. <laughs> snow is the best. <laughs> hey, which one of you just ordered from my shop? Thank you. My puppy discovered his worth in money yesterday when he ruined my hood shoes. Hood shoes. I have a diamond graveyard. It's a bottle I put leftover diamonds in when I finish painting. I've seen stuff like that on social media. And I'm like, hmm. Because right now mine are, well, not really organized, but they're in their own little satchets. And sachet and I don't I I don't know I <laughs> I like to think they're organized for when I want to use them for something but I don't know if I ever would and I don't know if I have enough of each color left over to really do like my own diamond painting I'm sure I could I don't know How many orders do you have now? 20,054. Can't believe the year is nearly over. Mm -hmm. Just finished Inktober and here I am yet again inking a drawing because I have to do my November Bujo pages now. <laughs> You're all warmed up. It'll be a breeze. Have you had to rehydrate an area that is dried out? What do you think the best way to do that is? Uh, what? For diamond painting? Is that even possible? I've never heard of such a thing. Uh, so I guess the answer is no. I have, I think, used glue before where, like, a clump of cat fur got on there and then it wasn't sticky anymore. <laughs> but I don't think you can just add water to, like, like, I don't think it can dry out. Unless you leave the cover off or something for an extended period of time. Maybe, but, like, you shouldn't just be leaving this open to the elements to dust and hair when you're not using it. There's glue you can get for that. Yeah, glue. Regular glue. <laughs> I'm sure they probably sell some, some kind of specialty glue to try to... 
get more of that money. Maybe it's slow drying for large areas. I don't know. I don't see that being an issue unless you're one of those people who peels off the entire plastic for the whole thing. But those people are psychos. Some people pull out a color and do like the entirety of that color. And I'm like, you're scary. Once a member, always a member. Where did that go? Nobody knows. Maybe it just landed right back in the tray. Hey, one of those little duty dots got down here. I can see another one in the tray. What is with this blue having all these little dots in it? Get out of here! Jin, thank you for the five months. Sorry, there's like some like notification on top of my alerts, and I'm like, get out of here. Multi-stream your content with Streamlabs and simulcast directly to all platforms: Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and more. No, I don't think I will. Where'd you buy your talent? The devil. It only costs one soul. Now, if you want, like, high-level talent, that's two souls. So, you know. I didn't want to go that far. Once a member, always a member. <laughs> Alice, thank you for the three months. Wow. Oh yeah, I was also Christian. I was wondering if you could do some dusting upstairs. Because it's really like around the TV and stuff. Yeah, I already did it. Oh, you did it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I brought up the swiffer. Yay! Because it was getting gnarly up there. Yep, it sure was. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, thank you for the membership. I also did up the railing so there's no more cobwebs in the kitchen. I did wipe down the side tables in the spare bedroom already, and like the headboard and stuff. Okay, I so didn't I, think about that. Yeah. We have a thing where Christian's in charge of upstairs and then I'm in charge of the main floor kind of thing. <laughs> but I was cleaning in the spare bedroom yesterday <laughs> when I was putting all the bedding back on. Oh, and I wiped down the window sill too. <laughs> and I cleaned the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> she sold Christian's soul that's why he quit his high grossing job to support in quotes her small business and why he blankly stares at the camera when she records him poor thing <laughs> Cinderella AU <laughs> Yeah, Christian works for me full time. He's making those sweaters.
Got my own factory worker. <laughs> Angel says the devil owes me money. Whoa. Not a huge fan of decorating for Christmas immediately, but I did at least have to bring out the Bailey J Christmas pillowcase. <laughs> I'm usually a little burnt out from the Halloween decorating. So it usually takes me a bit. It's like I put all that out, then I'm putting it all away. I'm not immediately busting out the Christmas. Especially in Vancouver, because I would have like my um, fall stuff. So I'd have the fall stuff out, and then I would add the Halloween stuff to it, and then put the Halloween stuff away, but keep the fall stuff out. But I mean, I might keep some of the living room fall stuff a little longer because that garland and pumpkin looks so cute in front of the fireplace. I mean, it is like a jack-o'-lantern, so technically it's Halloween, but it just looks so cute. So I might leave that a little longer, but it's so, it's snowy here this year because sometimes there's snow by this time and sometimes there's not. And since it did snow, I'm just like not in the mood for the fall decor anymore. It feels mismatched. Oh, and one thing I might do first is I would ha like to have certain string lights up year round. I had some of that at our place in Vancouver, although they were like white stranded Christmas lights. I might try to get some that are more like general decor bulb strands. I gotta start looking into that, I guess. But something I can plug into the wall and just have the little warm white lights up year round. And then I can add the Christmas stuff to that when Christmas comes. But then a lot of the light stringing is just pre-done, but then also you can enjoy it year round. You get that cozy string light vibe year round. So I gotta figure out where I wanna put it and what I want and find some stuff. Has Christian formed his own union yet? <laughs> How can you? Hmm. I'm like, can, is there such thing as like a one person union? Because who are you uniting with? Yourself? <laughs> Took my almost two and almost one year old trick-or-treating last night and it was snowing here in Indiana. <laughs> we had snow, but it was not snowing. Kevin is very happy. Hey, Milton. Hi, Hilda. It's snowing here currently in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I'm ready for Christmas now. <laughs> That's how I felt when it snowed, like, mid-October. I was like, oh, no, I'm in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Not that I would decorate that early. I jokingly said in the vlog, like, oh, you know, everyone has their own rules for when they decorate for Christmas. Like, oh, I say for a snowfall. <laughs> that was a joke. I don't decorate this early, but <laughs> it gets you in the mood. The milk cat's so cute, thank you. Oh, there she is. Look at the little tail hooked over the bed. Ooh. Just making biscuits. Don't get away. Oh, I gave him ten souls just to get my talent. Wait, so then why does he now owe you, though? Or do you mean you're still waiting on the talent delivery? <laughs> yeah, I got the sweater factory and the biscuit factory. <laughs> She's got to do both beds. Yeah, Kiki's not here. You got to work double duty, Midna. There's two biscuit stations here. Yeah, she's going to go look out the window. All right. I really love the color scheme of your warehouse. Thank you. Thought I heard Midna lol such a sweet, distinctive voice. Oh, 
As a person that feels like Christmas should be snowy, I declare we change the date of Christmas to February so it lines up better with all the snow. <laughs> I feel like here, well, I don't, I don't mean here as in Calgary. I guess by here, I mean just Saskatchewan and Alberta as a general statement. I feel like Christmas is usually snowy. I feel like November and February get the most snow. So it's like... Maybe it's just my perception. I just feel like November is like pure winter. Actually, probably November through Feb. It's true winter. <laughs> right now, it's like pseudo winter. Just put up two Christmas trees. <laughs> oh yeah, and I need to get to Costco ASAP for a Christmas tree. We should have done a Costco IRL stream. <laughs> Although after the weekend, my friend's visiting this weekend, so I'll go after. I see little ears poking out from behind my Cintiq. Got off my pills from my cancer. Now I'm back to normal again. Oh my God, that is amazing. No wonder you're so happy. Hell yeah. It is November. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My cat Garfield says hi to you and your cat. He can talk. Hi, Garfield. Might move somewhere that has consistent snow around Christmas just to experience it. <laughs> the price we pay is that our winters are long. Maybe since the snow started on the early side this year, maybe it'll end early. in the spring it's like oh it's spring weather and all the snow's melted and then the next day it's like just kidding there's a blizzard and then two days later it's all melted <laughs> it's like another dumping of snow there's like false spring and then the return of winter and then true spring okay that's all of that color Let's do the percent now. And then we'll do M, because M's also at the bottom, but then it reaches pretty high up. I guess the percent does too. But the M goes even higher, so it'd be kind of nice to like, not have my hand all over the sticky doing the M's. Excuse me. The carbonation in this beverage, which by the way, the cranberry ginger ale. It's a seasonal bevy. It's not going to focus because I've got this on manual focus. But this is the diet version. The, the cans that are kind of like pinky red 
or the regular ones. Cranberry ginger ale. Yeah, for trick or treaters, we got 169. It's the day of the dead today and tomorrow is for children and babies that passed away. I didn't get a notif again for when this started. Rip. A gift, you say, Edgar? Mm-hmm. What do I give to try Canada Dry? Okay, percent. Where are you? Oh, it's right in the front. <laughs> it's literally the closest thing. Sometimes I'm looking for a colorful icon. Like, I'm like, oh, purplish blue. But it's mostly white because it's got the circle in it. So I'm looking for solid color when I should be looking for the circle. There's only frost on the ground for me, not looking forward to snow. The thing about snow is like, you need a lot of it, otherwise it's like dingy. But also, if there is a lot of it, it's a pain in the butt. You almost need like a big dumping and then just light snow thereafter. Like a big dumping that doesn't melt. Cause if you had regular big dumpings, I mean, it's always kind of exciting to me, honestly, but it's a pain to shovel and stuff. But it's more pretty that way. Otherwise, it's like you just see like dead grass and dirt through the snow and it's gross. Also, for snow sports, you need more snow like snowmobiling, skiing, etc. Bogganing, it's nice when there's more snow. I mean, if there's too much, you're just gonna sink into it, but. <laughs> or like you wanna build a snow fort. You need a lot of snow. Okay, so there were these. <laughs> Speaking of snow forts, there were these signs that were put up in this city here in Calgary. And they were like City of Calgary signs. They were just staked into the ground at parks. And it's like, can't find an affordable place to live. Here's instructions on how to build an igloo. And it's like a step-by-step -step on how to build an igloo. Like if you just put up the igloo thing, whatever. But it's it specifically says like, can't find an affordable place to live. And I'm like, oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? I love snow, but never leave my house. See, that's also my thing. Like, I'm not commuting to work every day. So I'm just like, Lily. Let the snow fall down. What was the best costume you've seen? For the kids? Um, I mean, they were like cool, creepy ones that I don't know what it was, but like they were just neat. There was one that really stood out to me was one little girl was dressed as Link from Legend of Zelda. Also had a group that was Mario, Luigi, Peach, and then the fourth kid 
I don't know if they were supposed to be Yoshi. It looks more like generic dino costume, but either way. That was fun. You were Misa Misa this year. What diamond painting kit are you working on? The It's the picture that I, how do I point? This picture right here, which is my own drawing called Lac from Diamond Art Club. <laughs> I love snow, but don't appreciate almost going blind every time I step outside. Yeah. I'm already at the point of the year where I'm like, I think last winter I kept the blinds in this room half down for almost the entire winter. <laughs> Which kind of shucks my view, although when I'm sitting I can see the houses and stuff, it's really just obstructing the sky. Although right now the curtains are actually closed in the middle because I sat down to start the stream and there were just stripes across my face. And across my entire body. These blinds kind of suck though, they're really heavy. And like, the sun kind of gets in between the slats. So probably we'll eventually get better ones down here, but we're focusing on the main floor first because there are absolutely no blinds there. And the curtains don't really close. They're right there just for looks. So we should be getting those blinds. Well, they should get them in around mid-November, a little bit past mid-November. Then they're gonna come and install them. <laughs> the costume that scared Bailey the most was the deck collector. <laughs> that would be scary because I'd be like, well, what debt are you collecting, you weirdo? My bills are paid! I mean, there's the mortgage, but does that really count? I spent ages earlier looking for and cutting out all the letters to spell out the name of the month for my Bujo cover page. The only letters I cut out spell October. <laughs> Spent ages to try to find a B2. At least November also has a B. <laughs> We're all in denial it's November already. Currently working on the AB diamonds at the moment. They're a pain to place. Yeah, they stick to your pen. I try to have like minimal of the waxy stuff in there. It's easier if it's a round one, but like square ABs, they're harder. Cause like the round ones kind of fit in the tip of the pen cause the tip of the pen is round. So you don't need as much of the wax to pick up a round drill, but the square ones you need more. And it just like rips the wax out of my pen. Although some people use like other types of putty, which maybe would work better. Or like sticky tack you use to put stuff on the wall. I think I tried using my kneaded eraser once in here and it didn't work. <laughs> it was still too sticky. Hi Bailey, do you like Ghost Adventures? Yes, although I haven't seen any of the new episodes recently. It's harder to watch it in Canada now. Although, no. No, well, no, because now we have Discovery. I don't know if it's still on Discovery Plus, but for a while we didn't have Discovery Plus in Canada and then we got it. But we got to I mean, I don't think we have Discovery Plus right now. Either way, we got to catch up on some episodes. But our favorite paranormal show right now is Project Fear, formerly titled Destination Fear. Basically, their show got canceled, but they're now continuing it on YouTube and it's like 
the exact same quality as it was for the TV show, but the episode's are actually longer now, which I like. You get to see more stuff. Haley pays my bills too, so generous. <laughs> so I was behind in the stream, that's so embarrassing. Why did YouTube do that to me? <laughs> I came to collect the new embroidery machine, lol, nightmare feel. <laughs> hey Melissa, Halloween was pretty good. Didn't get as many trick-or-treaters as last year, but we had 169. For me, every day this year has become so repetitive. Isn't that Nick Groff and his wife? No. Last episode was bananas for Chelsea. <laughs> and like the, the part one of the episode, the whole like King segment, I was going nuts. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Although I will say I don't like, like they had guest investigators with them for this one. And I don't like that app they use. Like they were using like a phone app some ghost talking app and I was like don't don't use the phone apps please but those are just guest investigators so One sixty nine is a lot I feel like there are less trick-or-treaters each year there are barely any houses decorated in my neighborhood too More drills. Would you go ghost investigating with them if they invited you? <laughs> yes, I don't know why they would invite me of all people. <laughs> but I'd go. Where's Kiki? I don't know. Maybe upstairs somewhere. We only had one this year. All the kids have grown up in the subdivision. We've been here 15 years. No new families moving in. We got four trick-or-treaters, but it was worth it. The place I live is trying to make us a destination spot for future families to drive to for it. Oh. Well, they got a lot of work to do. They're currently at four. <laughs> month I have another table for a Christmas market. <gasps> Hope that goes well. I might go to Christmas market, a Christmas market this weekend. Or I don't know if it's a Christmas market, but it's a market. <laughs> it's a craft market. <laughs> I was like looking for things to do while my friend is here and I'm like, hmm, maybe we'll go there. I would love to go back to Saskatoon Farms, but there's no like event going on. I think I could still go there, but there wouldn't be all those vendor booths. They would still have their shops open, I guess. Like just 
their regular shops, but there wouldn't be a whole lot to really walk around and do and see. They will have a Christmas market, but not this weekend. I want to go back for more of those Saskatoon whatever thing. What were they? <laughs> what were they? Some kind of pastry-ish triangle shaped thing. Oh god, they're so good. You can buy them frozen and cook them at home. Ugh. Any musicals slash operas recently got back into Phantom of the Opera and Lee Miz now looking for other wrecks. I'm I'm not hugely into that scene, but like I like the th the few things I have seen. Like I enjoy musicals when I do see them. Like I mean I saw Wicked in person. I <laughs> I mean that was kind of like my first one that I really got into. Um seen Hamilton and like would listen to the songs a lot too now I just occasionally go back and listen to the odd ones and I love The Greatest Showman I never saw the Spongebob musical I have to watch it online I guess <laughs> I was like I'm gonna wait and see it in person Samosa mmm Mm. Aren't samosas like savory? Maybe they don't have to be, but it's like a sweet baked good. <laughs> I forget what they're called. Had zero trick or treaters, sad. So sad. I love In the Heights. It's by the same person who made Hamilton. Shrek the Musical is going to be in my city March 2024. I'm tempted to go see if it's any good. <laughs> I should look that up. I remember I just missed out on the Lion King musical in Vancouver because I didn't know it was in town until I saw a sign at the SkyTrain station. But it was like that night was the last night or something. And I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> I missed that. I got to keep abreast of the events happening here. All the diamond arts you've done which one's your favorite i mean they're all of my own art so it's really just what's my favorite out of those okay so i did at peace pedal dance the meeting i think maybe the meeting just looked really good where is that probably folded somewhere in a closet i should frame that one Although, where would I put it? I haven't hung up the other ones I framed. <laughs> Wait, did I frame Pedal Dance? I know I framed that piece. Ugh. But that's not even hanging up anymore now that we moved. Okay. That's that. Maybe let's do this little dumbbell shaped one. And then we'll do the M's. Excuse me. Is carbonation at the tacking me? Was working in the hospital for Halloween. 
Star Kid musicals are so damn good. I'm so glad they uploaded them on YouTube so people from around the world can watch them. Shrek musical sounds like it'd be a hilarious time, right? Have you played Disney Speedstorm? Because I'm addicted. No. The meeting's my favorite of all your art. Love the DP. Would you consider another diamond painting? Yeah, I probably could reach out to Diamond Art Club and see if they want to do some more. I feel like the ducky one could be an interesting one because it's like a bunch of colorful sections. Like there's a lot of colors in it and like broken up into many chunks of color. I feel like the the Midnight Rain one could look cool, but it's so monochromatic. I don't know. Like it's all shades of blue. So I don't know how many people would go for that necessarily. <laughs> Ducky's like good because it's a generic animal thing versus a character thing. The um, the opalescent one could be okay. I just don't know if the background's too plain. It's at least got different colors in it. But it's again just like a character face. I mean, so is this. This is character face. But I've got a lot of character ones already. So I'm like... Ducky, I think, would be good. Ducky, I think, is the best one I got going for me right now. Hey, Shitsu. It's almost time to play SpongeBob game again. Here, let's do the dumbbells, then we'll check in. Actually, I think a lot of stuff's on a 50 minute timer, not a one hour timer. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh yeah, we're at 59 out of, or 49 out of 50 for the energy. Do, 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 do. Our Krabby Patties are ready. The pins are ready. Whoa, look at all this jellyfish jelly. The corn was ready to cut before I even put the game down, but I was like, we're gonna be here all day if I keep cutting the corn every time, because it grows pretty fast. The lettuce grows in 40 seconds. <laughs> and this takes three minutes. Okay, with the game thing. I need the hot dog, or, well, ideally I'd have like two of each thing, because I don't know how many of each it's going to want me to get. So we have one golden spatula, one triple hot dog. We don't have a single donut box yet, though. Oh yeah, there's that one up there. Do, 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 do. Huh? Aha! Uh -huh. We got a donut box. Okay. So let's put it up here. Mm. Mm. You have a certain number of taps before you gotta wait another hour. Mm-hmm. Two pink ice creams. Okay. You do get bonus, some bonus rewards for having extra stuff on the map, so it's like, oops. So I don't mind having the extras lurking about. Okay. Now we wait. I've got one of each of the Oops. Thingies. Okay, we've got there there's an ad order. We'll put that on. For my gems. 
This is the SpongeBob Adventures in Jam, I think. Adventures in Jam. It doesn't show the whole name on the app icon, so I'm like, oh, something like that. Do I have to click OK here? Don't make me play the game. This better still be timer. Oh my god, this is like what I was just doing. <laughs> oh, now I can have an X. Okay, there we go. We're out of here. So, none of these are going to give me energy. Sad. But I do get a gift, which sometimes is candy that you can turn into energy. Yeah. Oh, now we have an energy one. We need a one of those oyster pie things. Do I have one being made? No. Let's maybe add another one and a tartar sauce just because. Just get more made. Because you only have so many establishments making product at one any given time but like it doesn't matter how many you have of them making as long as you have the resource so i'm like if i'm wasting if i'm using employees to run this joint you might as well make them make three things hey okay let's spend our 50 energy cut more of this crap down a lot of kelp back here which is nice because I use that to make a lot of my basic items oh Gary has an energy icon click it <gasps> he just gave us 30 extra Woo thanks Gare Bear we're cleaning this place up I'm also gonna go to the candy cart and see if I have enough candy to make more energy okay we're out of energy how close are we here not close and what about this one Oh, we got a lot! That'll give me 45 extra. I might actually have enough to do another 45, but there's a cooldown. Oh. And we're out of energy again. <laughs> it does not last long. <laughs> Pearls. Okay. What is everything else making? I put some stuff in there. Yeah. Should I queue up more? Uh, I've got a lot of the stuff I need for it. Because the thing about these sodas is I need them for other to make other items too. Like if I want to make pretty patties, it consumes a soda, and I'm like, that's so annoying. Why would you do that to me? Make some more pins. What do I need for pins? Metal and glue. Oh, I'm out of glue. Well, I've got a glue machine. Finally using this glue machine that I got. There we go. Now I got glue. Cut the corn. Cut the crap. Okay, what are we at? 94, 95, 68. Let's do some crystals then. Do we have enough employees to make more of this? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. So we need to wait for that piece of pie. Wait. Oh, I don't think I have enough employees now. No, I don't. I can't do anything at the Krusty Krab. So we wait. Although this don't take that long. But... The piece of pie is will be ready in 41 minutes. Oh. Oyster custard pie. Ugh. Ew. Ew. Okay. <laughs> Bailey, more energy. Me more passion. <laughs> more energy. At peace is the fall one, right? I think that would work well with your color palette you chose for your living room and kitchen. <gasps> That's true, because it's got the oranges, and I'm starting to pepper in like the odd yellow accent. Like I have that poster of like lemon stuff. I still gotta hang that, that citrus poster, but I need a frame for it. 
I mean, I don't need one, I guess. <laughs> I can just tape it to the wall for now, like a little piece of masking tape in each corner for like a cute little rustic look. And cause like, we just have fall vibes in that room. Which is great for fall decor cause you barely have to add anything but it's sad for Christmas decor. <laughs> I mean the green is still kind of Christmassy even though it's a lighter green. The orange however, not very Christmassy. That's one thing that's nice about more neutral color schemes I know TikTok's such a hater. They're always like, ew, sad beige room. Or if it's even just like browns and stuff, people are hating on it. And I'm like, why? <laughs> it's neutral. You can like turn it into anything with just a few pops of color of decor elements. It's malleable. Have you played Shining Nikki or Love Nikki? They're mobile games. No, I don't really do any mobile game stuff. Like it's shocking I picked up this. It's cause on Sunday I was so bored cause I was just lounging around cause I was tired and I kind of hung over, just like tired hungover. I wasn't sick, but I was just like, I slept two hours that night. And so I was sitting there like, and the next day I was sitting there like, <laughs> I was like, I need something to do. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, Peter told me about this SpongeBob game and I downloaded it, but never played it. Cause I downloaded it when it was in like, early access or something but I never jumped to play it because it's not you know, those types of farming sims are not really my typical go-to game but here I am my grandma tried to call my grandma called me while I was trying to watch the stream rude doesn't she know I'm doing something important <laughs> Hate brown and army green. Like as a combo or just in general? Each individually. I like browns. Like wood? Mm, wood. I don't know if it's because I was the youngest cousin and never got a turn, but I way prefer watching people play games than playing myself. Loving the Spongebob segments. Can't believe they didn't let you play. How do you not need glasses to work on this? Because I'm young? <laughs> no, I don't need reading glasses yet. I probably will someday. Don't let her fool you, she had LASIK. That doesn't correct the need for reading glasses though. It corrected my nearsightedness, but I will still need reading glasses one day. Hey everyone, probably gonna be lurking most of the stream, but just wanted to say hi. Hey Ender! <laughs> Young, base sip, joking, joking. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Gosh, will Bailey need reading glasses? Maybe someday. Most likely someday. <laughs> Did you hear about the new Harry Potter movies? Wait, no. What? I know they're making a series. Is Or is that what you're talking about? I haven't seen much about it, honestly. Just know it was announced like months ago. But I haven't seen any new news. Young doesn't mean anything. I can barely tell the difference in those symbols. Well, as a kid, didn't you play the game that's like square versus triangle, like putting things in the right holes, or even like that op not operation, but the fresh I think it's called frustration. That one game. Or I don't even know what it's called. Where you have to put the shapes in. I mean, it's also different in real life versus what you're seeing on camera. Some symbols do look a little similar. These ones are pretty distinctive because it's a black square with a white circle and then the pink dumbbell thing in the middle. Now, if they put like a bunch of E's and F's next to each other and they're both pinks that are close in shade, then I'm like, ugh, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Any symbols that look alike have to be separated. <laughs> well, it depends on the design there. Might end up. Can you get LASIK when you're both near and far sighted? Both at the same time? Wait, if you're both near and far sighted, why would you need LASIK? Doesn't that mean you have perfect vision? <laughs> Wait. Symbologist, hey A and C. Perfection, that's it. Cause I was like, I think frustration was the dice popping one, which is like a knockoff of trouble. Cause we owned frustration. That's why I was like, wait, I don't think it's frustration. But the ones with the shapes, my cousin had that one. Okay, we gotta do these little up arrows. There's just this little chunk. Just watched your LASIK vlog earlier today. <laughs> it's so weird that we're talking about it then. <laughs> Best thing I ever did for myself was to get LASIK surgery. Same. Oh, that's a little scary looking back. <laughs> like, <laughs> in hindsight, I'm like, maybe I should have done one eye at a time. What I didn't like is that my eyes were not fully numbed when they cut them. Like, if I ever... It's funny because like I absolutely did not want PRK. I wanted LASIK, but looking back, I'm like, if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably go PRK because like I didn't like the flap cutting at all. I could feel it hurt. And just like the idea of cutting a flap, it's like, ah. But it's so much quicker healing with LASIK. Whereas PRK, it's, they don't cut a flap, but it's much longer healing time. But it's like, really, what's a week or two in the grand scheme of things? And then you don't have to worry about, like, bumping your flap. Yeah, they cut a flap, they cut the top of your eye off, like a lift the flap, and they laser under it and then put the flap back down. Whereas PRK, they don't cut a flap, they'll 
just melt the top of your eye a little bit with some eye drops and then they laser it you could feel it yeah I could feel the cutting because they put numbing drops on and then they cut but like a bitch I could feel it I'm sure it was numbed to some extent but like it was a sharp pain So I'm like, I don't know if I could do that again. And like the suction thing, like it suctions to your eye and then cuts it and it's like so much pressure and it's just like not pleasant. But then the next day you're pain free. Well, wait, maybe not pain free. Not when you put the eye drops in, the eye drops burn. But like you have perfect vision and your eyes don't hurt in general, I guess. Like I said, it hurts when the eye drops go in. But that's the benefit of LASIK is like the next day, you can you have perfect vision the very next day. Now you gotta watch your flap, you know, you don't wanna bump it. It's fragile. So that's the scary part is being like, don't rub your eyes, don't bump your eyes. <laughs> That's another benefit of PRK. Like, I mean, you probably still don't want to rub your eyes, but you don't have to worry about dislodging your flap. And I did have dry eyes for like a year, but it was worth it. I feel like I definitely rub mine accidentally. You gotta wear like these wraparound glasses. And like there are these little guards you tape to your eyes at night. <laughs> Although if you get itchy, I found myself like trying to pry under it or like under the tape because I'm getting itchy. I'm like in my sleep and I'm like, no, stop. This sounds dirty, but it's just eyes, I know. <laughs> Don't mind me, just talking about my flaps. Eyeballs, that is. Watch your flaps is what I say when I'm shaving. <laughs> Is anyone else wanting to rub their eyes talking about LASIK? What have I done? I just asked about glasses, now flaps. <laughs> the evolution of conversation. You gotta love it. I didn't have to wear anything to to sleep over my eyes. I think I had to for the first while. I scream. I've had glasses since I was crawling. Trucks with logs, yeah. I never follow behind one of those. There's so many cases of that happening in real life, though. Like, I've seen so many stories, and I'm like, I... You know, it's not just a movie. Okay. Any big load like that, I'm just like... I'm out of here. I'm... I'm passing you. Or if it's like a, a single lane road where you can't pass, or there's like too much traffic, I'm gonna hang back. Oh, way back.
Hey, Colin. I was going to look into getting LASIK. Now I'm not so sure. I mean, contacts aren't that bad. <laughs> There's always PRK. My contacts were... My eyes were getting so irritated. Like, the veins in my eyes were getting so big and prominent. Like... They're getting irritated. And I was debating switching to daily contacts that you throw out daily and put new ones in. Just has like some sort of attempt to make, like maybe my eyes would like that more. But then I ended up getting LASIK instead. Just in time to be under my mom's insurance. <laughs> I reported all the people who sabotaged me on Twitch and they got banned right away. Wait, successfully? Ooh, that's good. Sometimes you report this kind of stuff and it's just like nothing gets done. Most excellent. Surgery for some is not an option. Yeah, there's like a lot of testing to do just to see if you're even eligible for LASIK or PRK because not everyone's let eligible. And then even if you are, like if something, like the conditions of your eyes have to be just right on surgery day too. They do like a final look at things. Although in my case, they said, like, if it's, if we're not good to go for LASIK, we're going to do PRK instead. Like, I might have gotten the other one done day of, last minute change kind of thing. Some people just can't get it done for whatever reason. There's many reasons. Why you might be ineligible. Making handmade items for the Christmas market now. <laughs> my initial comment sorry I don't read everything out loud or I just read everything in general I'm nearsighted in one eye farsighted in the other so I have to wear glasses or contacts but I wonder if I can have a surgery I mean yeah like if one eye is one and one's the other I'm sure I mean assuming you're eligible otherwise I mean, I'm no doctor, but I don't see why not.
How sticky is this is diamond painting? Is there a stickiness scale? I should <laughs> not answer that. <laughs> it's sticky enough that these are gonna stay on. Oh wait, where was the second half of that? Oh, I would want to try, but a free cat hair will be all in it. I mean, you cover it when you're not working on it. Like, all of this still has the plastic on. I only took the plastic off this section, and then if I don't finish it, I just put the plastic back on and cover it. If it's sticky enough to hold a piece of plastic, it's definitely sticky enough to hold cat hair. Doesn't take much for cat hair to stick to anything. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. At 169 trick-or-treaters. Love the heart button on YouTube Lives now. I use it way too much. <laughs> Meanwhile, other people were complaining about it. <laughs> Gustafur, thank you for the two months. My cat, Pear, loves algebra. I don't believe that for a second. Pearl. Was the algebra also an autocorrect thing? Because I don't believe that for a second. can't get twitch what do you mean you can't it's free it's a website <laughs> I've been watching the live skits of the Spongebob actors on TikTok recently. Like the original voice actors when they're acting in a skit, or like clips from the musical. She sits on the book sh and does it for me. I'll believe it when I see it. A cat doing algebra? Is it a robot? Is it like a bot? Hey, CEO. Yeah, the original voice actors been watching. They make small skits on TikTok. Like new ones? I know they did a bunch a long time ago. Didn't know they were making new ones.
Guess you're going over there. We're almost done the M's. Is there a DP for beginners? I mean, there are small ones. They're not really hard or difficult. It's just a matter of size, I guess. Did I say hard or difficult? <laughs> There's just like not difficulty levels other than maybe size. Because it might be overwhelming for a beginner to do a huge one. <laughs> I think it's a canon event for all diamond painters who have cats to get cat hair on your canvas. Hey Azu, have you seen the song the Kiffness did with the lonely cat? No. Thinking of getting slashed, really wanting a light box similar to what you use seems so useful. Yeah, just a nice flat one. This is the Cricut brand one, but you can find cheaper ones too. On Amazon and such. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Cheek zing. Okay. We got five little sevens right there. Let's get them. I has to have glasses because my build eye, because of the doctors, can help it. What? I'm not sure I understand. Does your husband work for you now? Yes. Hey, Jenny. Sorry, I'm being nosy. Oh no, tons of people have been asking that. I'm like, did I bring it up in the most recent vlog? Like, you haven't seen it yet, but the one I filmed, I think I maybe did. Because I'm getting a lot of comments about it. I've mentioned it in the streams, but I don't think I stated it officially in the vlogs. Until this upcoming one. I mean, I know at first when he wasn't working his old job, I didn't say anything at first. Because um, we knew, because like, well, he had his office job, and then... He left that to work part-time at a retail store near here. And then he could also help me out on the side. So he was like part-time with me. And the plan was once we got up and running with embroidery, he would quit that part-time job to be full-time with me. And then it just happened earlier than expected because the store he was working at closed. And so <laughs> he was let go two months early or earlier than planned. So he just had like a nice break time. He could just chill till we were officially up and running with the embroidery stuff. Although he still did like the occasional stuff for me. Like I still had the odd job for him, but he was doing more of like the cooking and housework stuff. I wasn't cooking anything. I was just like, <laughs> So now that he's doing the embroidery stuff, I'm like, dang, I gotta go back to cooking too. How do the staff meetings go? <laughs> Does anyone want homemade stew for me? Me. Homemade stew. My partner of eight years just proposed on the 30th. It was so sweet. Just us and our cats plus dog. Congratulations. 
Yeah. <laughs> you still have thick dino fins? No, those are long gone. And they've been restocked already, so I don't think they'll come back. I could possibly bring back like a color variant or like a newly designed one. But I don't think very many of them would sell because they were for sale for quite a while. After I restocked. The dino, but shiny. Shiny variant, but not rare. Not rare shiny, more like Pokemon Go shiny, AKA handing them out like candy. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to do some wooden pins too. I only ever did the Cottage Kitties one, which was in the advent calendar. so many of these. <laughs> Original thick dino. Oh, you're right, I did do two for that because there was the girl, yeah, yeah, with the, with the braid in her hair. I know exactly what you're talking about. That was also Avid Calendar. Would you do the Avid Calendar again? It was so fun to watch the process. Yeah, watch it, not do it. Ah! <laughs> I wouldn't mind like something more small scale where it's like 12 washi tapes or something, something where I don't have to prep each item because like, there were so many items and then it was just expensive because like obviously you're buying something bulk so therefore it's you're not going to pay like full retail so it was discounted but then also the boxes cost me like six bucks a piece of the cost of the advent calendar just for the box they're also too big i need to make them smaller <laughs> smaller box but if i could do it simple like Here's a washi advent calendar or like here's a sticker advent calendar something that doesn't require all the prep work and pin grading because like quality checking all the pins pinning them on the backing cards it was so much i even had help with that and then i had help packing them from my friends into the boxes the thick giraffe made me laugh during the stream you're so creative yeah, I never did do Thick Giraffe. Are sound bites still busted? Has anyone tested? I did a test before the stream started and they came through. Well, didn't the nice, didn't Kevin's nice come through earlier? I think it did. Try it out. Just do a cheap one. Did you get rid of all your damn painting stuff? Huh? <laughs> I still have painting supplies. Sticker on my calendar would be great, actually could be pretty flat. 
Wow. It would have to be really wow. wide. Wow. I feel like oh it almost... God. There's one. I feel like it almost have to like fold in half and then open like a book. And then you have... I mean, stickers almost... Stickers would be tough to do like a traditional door opening advent calendar. Although they are flat. So if like... It could just be like a flat thing. Door opens. Boom. And... Yeah. Otherwise, it could just be like in little sleeves. Because you can also do advent calendars where they're not in a traditional advent calendar box. But it's just like in little baggies. And so you get your box of sleeves and you open it up. Although having the actual doors you open is pretty fun. So. Could do envelopes. I see a lot of those. Yeah, that's what I mean by like little sleeves. Because like that would probably be the best way to do the stickers. Although you could also like, instead of just having them loose, you could technically use like a double-sided tape runner or glue runner to like glue them onto a surface. And like I said, it, it'd probably have to fold in half so to save space to ship, but like, that'd be so fun. You like, it opens like a book and then you've got, that would take work to like sleeve them all and glue all the sleeves on, <laughs> but, <laughs> or you could just have them loose in a box. And a recipe type box. <gasps> that would be so cute. They're all like, ah, that would actually be so cute. <laughs> a pin calendar. No, the pins are too much work. <laughs> Me still scarred from having a calendar. No, <gasps> no. Although one way to try to do it would be like, I try to quality check them through the plastic that they come in. And as long as it's nothing majorly wrong, then it goes in. So it could be A or B grade and then they stay in that. And then they're small. So if you do have like a little opening box, you just have the small pin and it's not pinned onto a piece of cardboard, you know, like it would just save on packaging and on time. And it's like, you may get A or B grades. You get what you get kind of thing. They're kind of semi graded, like a quick look through the plastic. That I would do. Because I just couldn't justify all the time put into it. And I'm hoping that if I did some kind of smaller custom box, it would be cheaper. Because, like, those boxes were so expensive. Sleeves in a photo album, tuck them into each slot. <gasps> or, like, Pokemon card sleeve like like the the three by three binder page <laughs> although they'd still need to be in like a an envelope for sensor to be censored a magnet calendar because i can still do like a mixed item advent calendar technically but i would not go heavy on the enamel pins like I said unless I do the quick grading method and no packaging just in the little ziploc I think pins are really in right now oh they've been in for years I feel like if anything they're slightly losing popularity but still quite popular I feel like washi just flies off the shelf. It's like, whew. it's crazy. How much longer on the oyster? 24 seconds! <laughs> well, let's cut down some kelp in the meantime. The 
big one. Can almost chop down the tree. It's an 18. Let's wait for it to go up a level. Go up a notch. There. It is. I'm like, was that the doorbell or my imagination? I don't know. This gives us 30 extra energy. Ooh, we can also fulfill one of these gift ones. Let's. Oh, I can do both. We get candy. Another battery one. Oh, we need another slice of cake and a pretty patty, Jesus. Maybe let's just make two pretty patties. Just because, probably need more. But we're gonna have to wait another 44 minutes for the next oyster pie. But we can do this. Chop, chop, chop. I'm playing SpongeBob, SquarePants, Adventures in Jam. Washi probably sells well because you use it up and need more eventually. It's more of a useful item than pins. Yeah, because pins are just decorative. Washi's a consumable. Oh, I didn't have enough to chop that down. I still put my remaining energy towards that, so it'll be, ch he has only nine left on that. I guess the washi baffles me because I'm not a huge consumer of washi, but it's like, okay, well that's just you, Bailey. Like, you don't represent the people. <laughs> These jellies are in the way, move. Let's just get more pins going. Yeah, I've got a lot of the supplies. Let's just do it. Because it's a commonly used item for the orders right now. Because it's my most recently acquired factory building. We still got three things in the queue. I mean, these are what, only... How long does this take to make? 20 each. And there's 10 left. Ah, no, let's leave it. Let's wait. I'm gonna leave a slot open. Because it'll be about when I check it again is when they're done. Okay, let's go to the candy machine now. Just got 45 energy. Let's get rid of more stuff. Let's get rid of this big rack. Oh yeah, and the bamboo that we started working on. We might as well finish it off. Ooh, I got a chocolate bar out of that. That's the best of the candies, it's worth the most for energy generation. And we're out of energy again. I probably have enough candy to do another energy generation, but I need to wait for it to cool down for a few minutes. So maybe let's let the ad play. I get two gems. My seven-year-old consumes all my washi tape. I don't use washi because I hoard them like stickers. But the beauty of it is like you can still use like three quarters of it and then you still have the remainder to hoard. Like just to have, I guess, or like, <laughs> like a sticker, it's a sticker. A washi is kind of like several stickers. I use so much washi. I have a sketchbook with the same border and all the pages. Oh, wow. I've been making my own planner slash bujo for years. And since I started using washi tape like a year and a half ago, it just makes the decorating process a lot faster and easier and more fun. I use washi in my planner and my scrapbooks, my junk creative journaling and add cute details to envelopes when I mail cards and just to stick up notes if I can't find my post-its. Okay, back to candy generation. Oh, we still gotta wait a minute. <laughs> There's this candy generation one too, but it uses different items. It gives you 70 though instead of 45. 
But, like, those items are so hard to come by. We have four Kelpo, but that's not enough. <gasps> Ooh, I completed one of my tasks. Oh, what is that little key? It had two Ks on it. Is that the keys to the car Krusty Krab? What's weird is in my shop, I can buy a second Krusty Krab. Because the Krusty Krab was just there by default in the game. Well, it was somewhere else. I moved it here. But, like, I can get a second Krusty Krab. But why? Probably to make twice as much stuff. But, like, right now, there's no need. Because I barely even need the Krusty Krab. I needed it a lot at the beginning. But then once I start making you craft other items, I stopped using the Krusty Krab so much. Wait, I think I need some, like, regular burgers, too. Yeah. I mean, sure, let's get a couple regular burgers going. Those take, like, no time at all to make. We'll just add them to the queue. I do need a five. I might add one more five to the queue, because I'll be using that one up. Should I make another pie or another tartar? We need one of each for the current order, so I guess it doesn't really matter which one I add to Q. Let's do pie. Oh, I don't have enough pearls. Eh. Eh. Work faster, oyster. Wait, is there only one oyster left? Oh, there's two. Can I buy more oysters? They kind of like die after a while. They can only produce so many pearls and then they just disappear. Same with the jellyfish. Okay. It's gone. Get out of my way, jellyfish. I gotta move this pasture elsewhere. It's too close. Okay. Wait. I don't really have four energy. I mean, we might as well spend it towards something. Oh, that one. Yeah. Now let's put it towards this bamboo. Because then we're at a clean zero. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But I totally forgot we're going to make more. Right, 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 right. Hey, hey! No. Okay. Spend all our energy so we can accumulate more. Hey. Oh, I'm at zero. Okay. Okay. Should buy some sassy Santa washi from to wrap presents with this year. Bought some for my gift wrapping. <laughs> Does it hold up pretty well for wrapping paper? It should theoretically. I guess it depends on the surface of the wrapping paper. Because it sticks best to paper. And wrapping paper is paper. Hmm. That was the Spongebob Adventures in Jam. I don't know why it's called In Jam. I don't get the name, honestly. Like, the first area I went to that was not Bikini Bottom was jellyfish fields but what was also confusing because you don't have to stay here in bikini bottom okay you can go other places so i did jellyfish fields and i did everything you had to do there there were more items i could technically accumulate but it takes so much energy to chop down all the items that i'm like i'm out of here so i moved on to new kelp city but it's like oh are you sure you want to go there because you'll only be able to access jellyfish fields for two more days and i was like what when you move on to a new area, it locks the old area. So I have one day left to go to Jellyfish Fields. And I'm like, why would you do this to me? Because there's like jelly here all the time. This little patch just produces jelly. I don't know why else I would come here. But there's some of this stone stuff, but I don't know if I need that anymore. Here's Kevin. We just unlocked Kevin. We're not going to get to see him anymore. Maybe there's a way to come back, but like... There's this van, but I have the same van at my place. And there's a different candy. <gasps> oh no, I have some candy input into the machine over here. 
Do you think this is enough to fill it? Otherwise, that candy goes to waste. Like, the bar is partially filled up. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this is enough to fill it. I mean, I have a whole day. Oh, that was not very much at all. I'll come back. I'll come back. Ah! Now I got a lot of candy in that candy machine. <laughs> I'll get more when I chop down more stuff. <gasps> we got two energy that racked up. Oops. Quick, spend it. Okay. But why does it block you from going back once you left? Makes no sense. Hey, MJ. Ghost drill. For snowfall here in Nova Scotia. Oh, was it just today or like last night? Like, did you get a snow-free Halloween? Okay, the next will be a pretty big section. Whether I go with nine N or P, there's gonna be quite a bit of them. It's like this whole purple section. So, actually, there's not that many P's. So let's do that. P P P. What time is it? Two o three. Okay. I don't want to stream too late today because I got stuff to do. It's SpongeBob Adventures and Jam. Yeah, Halloween was snow free. Nice. Do you frame your DP when you're done? Do you have up around the house? I framed a couple of them. But they, they're not hung up right now. They were hung up at our old house, but I haven't hung them up since moving. And I do have another one done that is not framed. Like the meeting I never did frame. But I'd kind of like to. That would also match the main floor decor. <laughs> Although, do I want to hang my own diamond paintings in the main rooms? Maybe not. This is like the plum color of the sweatshirts. This P color. P for plum. P for. for plum bum hey Vera you still need to decorate guest room true they're undecorated but I haven't figured out I mean one of them kind of has a color scheme because we have the leftover spare bedding from our like at our old place it's the same bedding which is like a light blue so I could kind of follow that and have at least one of the colors be light blue. There's also a couple of paintings, or not paintings, but like wall art that we had in our 
main floor bathroom at the old place that are light blue. And so that would match if they went in that room too. The diamond paintings do not match that. But then there's the other bedroom, which has like no theming done in it. We don't even have a bedding for it. We just have big blankets on it. And so it's wide open in terms of theming. But also I really like those deep red picture frames I got on my birthday at the thrift store as you guys saw in the vlogs and I'm like it'd be so cool to theme one of the rooms around that like deep jewel tones and the blanket that's on the bed is like a green deep green it would kind of suit that if you had that as like the extra blankie in the room Honestly, I feel like a blanket like that's all you need because we have two blankets on our bed instead of a big duvet now and I sleep between the two blankets. Like I don't, I don't even use the second blanket. I only use one little blankie. Okay, I think that's all the peas. Brothel themed. How's Samara holding up in the snow? I took her down. Halloween's over! But she is in one piece. She had some snow caked on her back. She's in the garage now drying off. Her arms didn't fall off. Okay, let's grab number nine. I'm hoping to finish this blue section before I gotta go. The purpley periwinkly section. Will you use her next year? Yeah. And hopefully I can find the extra wig to fluff up her head a little bit. <laughs> Leave her out there, give her a Santa hat. Too late. I mean, I could put her back out. I'm being assaulted by the sun. Also kind of got to pee. <laughs> Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Um, if I'm closing that, I might want to brighten this up a little bit. Okay, mic off. I'm going to go pee. Kiki, go. Kiki's, I caught Kiki trying to eat washi tape. So it's a good thing I got up to pee.
cookies down here. I guess you know that based on my washi comment. She's a good girl. Oh, sweet baby. Do I smell like soap? Maybe. She's so baby. She's serving babies. She's serving idiots. She's serving them. I can't wait till next year when Samara be a fully functional animatronic. <laughs> and we'll dig a tunnel in the fire pit so she can like retreat and then like climb out. I combined Samara with the spider. We took our kiddos to the mall first. Got there right at the start, 4.30. By the time we were leaving the stores, we were already running... The stores are already running out of candy. That's actually kind of smart to hit up a mall first. Because, like, a lot of... If you're going to hit up houses, a lot of people... Maybe you're not home yet at that point. So you hit up the mall first. When's the next XL strawberry restock? Going forward, it'll probably be, like, just... Not size-based restocks, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't really figured out. We're kind of playing it by ear with how we're doing this because now we're at the point where we have two different designs. And it's like, we're trying to gear up for the launch of the new design, but I still need to restock strawberries. <laughs> so I'm like, how are we doing this? So for now, I'm just getting Christian to focus on the Luna Moths and... We'll play it by ear. He's actually through a lot of the crew decks already, but the hoodies will be coming soon. I should check the tracking on it. Usually takes about a week for those shipments to come in. Flare Airlines, new route, Vancouver to Guadalajara. Whoa. What's the price? Although I'd have to get to Vancouver. Fares from 129 one way. Woohoo! Let's go to Mexico. Reminder invite only webinar for Black Friday, Cyber Monday for Amazon. No, get me out of here. Okay, what was I gonna check? Oh, yeah, the kid that check. Oh yeah, also I have this flex delivery notice. I gotta go to the post office and see what that is. What would go to my flex delivery address? Like, in Vancouver, I used my flex delivery address as a return address for the business, but here, they're not letting me do that. But there's something there. Maybe it's a really, really old package. Because I was using it as my return address for a little bit. And then they're like, stop that. And I was like, mm. Like the ladies at the post office said to stop doing that. And I'm thinking to myself, the other post office let me do it. <laughs> anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Friday by end of day. Wait, that means at least one of us got to be home for this. <laughs> Christian. Your grandson was Chucky. Make these brooms that move around on a Roomba style motor. You could use one as a base for a ghost on the porch. Set it to move with motion sensor whenever someone came up to the door. It wouldn't have very much room to move. It would be stuck in like a six inch area. 
I just put one of the hollow mushroom stickers in my bujo because the theme for November is death and decay. Whoa. Have you played Disney, Dreamlight Valley, Belle, and Beast are there now? Oh god, I haven't touched it in so long. <laughs> Listen, I got a new farming game now. I got SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm going to decorate Bikini Bottom. Right now in Spongebob, I have so much money and nothing to spend it on. Because they limit stuff. They're like, oh, you can't get more of this until you go up a level. Like, There's some decorative stuff. But I need like Bikini Bottom houses so I can have more Bikini Bottomites to work at the stores. But that's level locked. And it's like, well, what am I going to spend my money on? I have so much freaking money. Let me spend it. They're like, you can get a lamppost. And I'm like, okay. So I buy a lamppost. <laughs> and I bought a bridge. But it's like... This stuff costs pennies compared to what I... Have. And I don't have space to put that crap up yet. Right, okay. Wasn't Dreamlight Valley supposed to become free to play months ago? I totally forgot about that. That it was like you could pay for early access, which is what I technically did. Although some people had it for free through like the Xbox Game Pass thing, I guess. But apparently after a certain amount of time, it was supposed to become free to play. And then I heard, like I saw a TikTok or something saying it's not going to be free. They're going to charge for it or something. Why are they selling a bridge underwater? Maybe you have to cross a patch of goo, like, you know, goo lagoon. I don't know. <laughs> but there aren't any goo patches, so I have to put it over. So it's just like, what? Like, it just sounds like one of the cats is getting into something, but maybe that's just Christian noises. Hooping stuff. I don't know. But I also swear I could hear a plate sound. You know when they, like, lick a plate and it clinks? I don't know. Have you heard that Sandy rap on TikTok? I'm the reason they call it Bikini Bottom. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I usually just, I've seen a lot of songs where it's like, oh, here's Plankton singing this song. Or like, you know, they'll just use AI to generate the voices. I just skip past all those. But I haven't seen a Sandy one. And that sounds like an original song. If you had to choose one to disappear from the world, would you vanish Spongebob or Beauty and the Beast? I think Beauty and the Beast because like the Spongebob memes and quotes are just such a big part of my life. Play Final Fantasy 14 online. Did a crossover with Fall Guys. I've been playing that. Okay. 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 <laughs> Jacob linked a clip from that in our group chat this morning. And I I didn't even know what I was looking at. I was like, is this some kind of weird mod? Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, it looks kind of like Fall Guys, but this is not Fall Guys. That's not how like the lighting is different. The obstacles are operating different. And I was like, this is not actually Fall Guys, so what is this? But it's like they put Fall Guys-esque levels in Final Fantasy is what they did. 
It's so fun. <laughs> I thought this was just like some weird mod thing I was looking at. I was like, I don't even understand what's happening because this is not Fall Guys. It kind of looks like Fall Guys, but it's not Fall. <laughs> like it was like Fall Mountain ish, but different. So it's in Final Fantasy. Yeah, they did an official collab. I mean, there's been Final Fantasy characters in in Fall Guys. But I guess this, what I saw, was specifically in Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's not going to be free to play Dreamlight Valley. You have to pay again for stuff. And the free to play mechanics don't work with the paid game. So are they getting rid of some of those mechanics? Or I don't understand. I mean, there wasn't really much that felt like a free-to-play game other than, like, the seasonal challenges. There were, like, limited-time challenges, but I just didn't even do those. They're like, you can get this ugly Pixar stuff, and I was like, no thanks. <laughs> I haven't played in a very long time <laughs> Go to the casino to play it. Well, guys, in Final Fantasy, so much fun! It's so popular right now. They have a they have wait times to get in to play it. Wait, what the hell? Wait times. So wait, is it like, are you competing against other people online kind of thing? I mean, you must. Ah! Wait, wait. We're doing nines. Did I cover any ends here? No. Wait, that one. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, that one's good. It's just these three. Get the knife! Where'd that other one go? Yeah, there. Okay. Wait, why are we back on autofocus? Sorry about that. <laughs> like this lights do it almost nothing. Hey Levi. Have you planned your next game stream yet? No. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Fall Guys? <laughs> maybe I should play Disney Dreamlight Valley. Although I feel like I could do maybe four hours and then I'd have to stop and switch to Fall Guys. There's a level in Fall Guys right now. It's called Fast Deween, I think. It's one of the custom levels, the individual rounds. You can cheese it. Like, there's a way to cross the finish line at the very start of the map. They better not patch that. So it's like easy 20 shards. I'm like, what the heck? And I like the tricker. The, like... Sweet Thieves trick or treat thing. What is it called? I don't know. But you only have five shards. Like, what's the point? Yet they're handing them out like candy in the individual rounds. What the heck? I feel like those individual rounds should be ten shards each only. And then Sweet Thieves should be like 
15 at least. Treat Thieves, I think it's called. Sweet Thieves is the OG. Treat Thieves is the Halloween one. But anyway... I'm not going to be able to do too much of that crown farming because I got a bunch of stuff to do. And then my friend will be here and I'm not going to make her watch me do that. <clears throat> Back, BF wanted to know something. Oh, like you left. I thought you, I thought you meant you just popped back because he wants to know something and you had a question for me, but you mean you left because you wanted to know something. Okay. Holy shards, Bailey. We gotta get another Fall Guy stream in before winter. You feel? <laughs> you feel? I get stuck in jail whenever I play Sweet Thieves. Yeah, there's a glitch on Switch. It sucks when you get paired with the Switch players because then you go to free them, but then they're all still trapped and you're like, oh, guess we'll lose. When isn't there a, gl a switch glitch? Yeah, that's why so many rounds got vaulted is because of switch glitches. And it's like, dude. Just put a flash warning. Just put a seizure warning and let us play all the levels. You know what I'm saying? As soon as they released the switch version, everything went to shit. Should have never been released to Switch. It's never worked. Mm -hmm. Does your shoulder handle the repetitive motion of diamond painting? Mine always feels like it's on fire. My shoulders don't hurt, but like my back will start to hurt. Like the, the lower neck area will hurt after a while. Especially right now. I want to pull it closer to me because I'm in the upper half now, but I've got it taped down so it stays aligned for the camera. Currently on the the rightmost edge. Well, there's like a little bit I did beyond it, but we're really close to the right hand edge, about halfway up. So like her her floral crown starts right here, right behind where the pop up picture is. So here's her hair swooping up to her head, and then comes down here. And these are the trees in the background. The trees on the right hand side.
That probably would have been the most easy way to explain this. <laughs> the trees on the right hand side. I don't know how got how you still use the basic wax can't live without my sticky deck <laughs> I just don't think of it I guess it's something I wouldn't really order online because it's like a small inexpensive thing I'd have to get it in person somewhere but I never think to look for it Superstore might have it with their school supplies the dollar store probably would have some like wall hanging sticky deck. These are all stuck face down, but I refuse to pour more. So we're almost done the nines here. Sticky tech doesn't work well in multiplacer for me, not firm enough. Use beeswax. What? Do you think you'll ever get back into animation? Not regularly, because it's too time consuming. It would just be like the odd little fun doodad. Interested in Mario Wonder? No. If I don't know it's a fallen drill from just now or the last color, I just chuck it aside. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh god, I keep forgetting I have a whole vlog to edit today too. Jesus Christ. There's not enough hours in a day and survivors tonight. Vlog! No! Although we'll probably watch it at 6 and then I'll go back to like cleaning and editing and whatever else. been really into pixel animation and art so it's it's so time consuming but so satisfying at the same time <laughs> Thank you. 
I should think of a thing, like a little something to animate. Because it could be even just like a little overlay for the stream. Because sometimes I'm like, okay, I would like, I wouldn't mind animating a little something, but what the hell would I do? It could be something simple, like. It could even be something that goes in like the outros of my videos. Like, you know, I have tulip fun in my outro, just the picture. I could have like a cute little animated thing where it's kind of just like a little loop of the bunny just being like like a little smile and kind of moving a little bit idle animation like I could do little stuff like that although I would lose my texture I mean it could technically cut apart my art and animate it <laughs> Hey, Bish. Hey, Bork. It's Bork and Bish. Bish and Bork. How was your Halloween? Did someone steal all your candy? Hey, meerkat. I think not a single child came to our house. Well, now you got some snacks. I'm not 100% sure since we just had a bowl out. If any came, it wasn't many. Hey, Amanda. We only had about 30 to 35 trick-or-treaters and one of them gave me a paper snail decoration and I'm in love with it, aww. <laughs> there was this one just this little girl and her dad was taking her around and I could hear talking outside and I was like what's going on and then she finally rings the doorbell and she was terrified of the decorations <laughs> especially the one by the door with the purple eyes and her dad was like has his phone on he's like stand next to it I'll take a picture she's like no <laughs> it's funny Hearing the children. Yeah, and I don't know if this, the animatronic spider got anyone because I didn't want it like right on the path where it'd scare everyone. So I had it off to the side. So the only way you triggered it is if you really, if you saw it and walked up to it. I did hear one scream that could have been from the spider, but like, I don't know if it was. But I might have to move it a little closer next year. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Hannah. When will the live stream end? I think around 3.30. It's 2.40 right now because I got stiff today. But I'm also wondering, can I finish this section? If I'm getting close and it's 3.30, I might finish it. It's mostly the ends and twos, so that should actually be pretty quick. There's a few U-turns, but it's mostly just two colors, so it might go pretty fast. We might make it! Yee. Trauma for life. <laughs> when I was waiting for some trick or treaters, I'm scrolling on my phone on TikTok, and there was a video of someone with the same spider, and they had it right at their door. And so these two little kids walk up, and it springs out, and she goes to recoil, but they have a few steps leading up to the door, which we also have. And so this girl, like, falls down the stairs and face plants, and I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, maybe that's not a good idea. Like, don't do that. <sighs> no, we didn't get through all 200. We had 169 trick-or-treaters, so we got some leftovers to snack on. Why is there a purple one in there? Also, I poured way too many. This is for the U-turn. <laughs> I need like five of these. Six, actually. Five up there, one here. Mm -hmm. Hey, the last one. I think one side of, like on the multi-placer side, the one side is missing some wax. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me, gonna look for some candy on sale. You better go quick, because if there's any left, it's gonna go fast. A lot of places don't even put up candy after Halloween anymore. They just take it off the shelf right away so they can put it up for next year, or it's already just sold out. Like, the days of leftover candy, I feel like, are gone. I mean, I'm sure some stores have to have leftover candy. They got them. Okay, now the little lowercase n. Give us some time to buy chocolate on sale. Run! Because a lot of people are going to have the same idea as you. And they're going to buy it up. Last year, it wasn't even Halloween yet. And I was struggling so hard to find candy. I ended up buying like little Reese's cups that were wrapped in foil just from like the regular candy aisle. And I got the little like, I got the vampire Kit Kats, which are not what I wanted, but I was like, it's something. Cause Superstore had some of those. to Walmart too. I think Walmart had like nothing. I might have gotten, I can't remember everything I had in the bags last year. I might have gotten one thing. I think I got rockets at Walmart. But man, it was slim pickings, boy. And it wasn't even Halloween yet. Okay, I gotta pull this closer. <laughs> My neck's giving out here. <sighs> oh, it's not the same color. This is why you just throw the rogues away. But I was like, that's the only light color I've done. No, nope, totally forgot about U-turn. 
Now I can move this a little bit with it. I might just, since we're showing more of the lit up area, knock the brightness down. And let's just redo the focus. Can't keep leaning that far forward. Cinnamon cookies. Mostly go to Bulk Barn for candy, super fresh. I mean, anything for trick or treaters has to be wrapped, but they got some stuff like that at Bulk Barn. <gasps> Do you think they got the saltwater toffee things? I wonder what the folks in Bikini Bottom are up to. Okay, nothing is refreshed. Hold on. Exit game. Yeah. Oh, adventures in a jam. In a jam. No, adventures in jam. <laughs> adventures in a jam. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna need more food. These jellyfish are crazy. Okay. We can do both energy ones, and now there's a new energy one to do. What does it need? A tartar sauce. Ooh, there's one in the works. Well, let's add another one. I'm gonna... Ah! Don't have enough pearls. Alright. Fine, then. I could complete something else, but don't use up the five. Because we need that for that order. Okay, let's send that. Ah, I was like, that one's a lot of experience, but it's the five. Don't send it. It needs the five. Whatever that is. Okay. Let's bust up some stuff. Is SpongeBob your future husband? No. He's too childlike. And I already have a husband. Okay, we've used it all up. Oh yeah, we gotta get to that other candy. Do we have more candy? Because I gotta get back to that other candy cart. <laughs> we do! Go to Jellyfish Fields! Okay, and now we can ignore that candy cart. Yeah. Right. 
We got more energy. Let's go. Oh, there's like a hide the buildings thing, which is nice. I just figured that out this morning. You <laughs> can hide the buildings to see behind them. I've been moving them like an idiot. Okay, we got six. Let's like contribute six towards the coral, I guess. And... That's not gonna be enough. I don't think. One, two, one, two, three, four. No. Okay. So, we got this. Me. Let's see if I can finish the diamond painting section. Also, me. Spongy Babu. They better not introduce more foods, because they've slowly been introducing more things. So this is, gets a little harder. And I'm like, you better not. Okay, so we don't know how many of each of these to make yet, because we haven't unlocked. It's actually very nice of them to show us what comes up next. But at the same time, I would just stack everything anyway. <laughs> but we don't know quantities. Ice cream, dish, dish, dish. Dish. Okay, now we got two of these. We got two hot dogs, two donut boxes. Could go for another golden spatula. So many donuts. I got another golden spatula. So we're probably safe unless there's something we need three of. But I've never seen a request three of the final form item. Ooh, we'll find out too. We got four taps left. There we go. There's all our taps. All right. Okay. Ooh, pins are ready. Boop. Jellyfish food is ready. The corn's already ready to pick up. Yeesh! Okay, let's see if there's anything else. I'm gonna watch that. We got the five on the go. We do need two more tartar sauces. Yeesh. Everything else we have. Although I could make another pretty patty. Because we're gonna use up the one we have. But how many? Oh, I only have one soda in stock. Let's get more going then. And just for funsies, let's throw on a coral fry and a burger and onion rings. Why not? We got the goods. We got the means. Fifty-five burgers, fifty-five fries, fifty-five tacos, fifty-five pies, fifty-five cokes. use of that sound bite oh my god oh my god mm. here we hide the buildings again we got three let's contribute towards that and then we'll watch the ad okay psych i'm not actually watching it huh. losers scammed. I sure showed them. Ha! Is it on the Google Play Store? Yeah. Adventures in a jam. Oh, 
silly. Hey! Oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, there's also twos in here. And I'm like, yeah, those are the... I thought there was a third symbol, but that is one of the symbols I was already aware of. I forgot. Okay. I hate the ads you can't just X out of. They take you to the Play Store, and then you gotta go back, and then there's an X. Why? 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 <gasps> a new order that has... Why are we on this camera view? Was I like that the whole time? Did I bump it? I don't know. And maybe I meant to go to the diamond painting view and I misclicked. Anyway, new order popped up. We can send it. And we get 30 more energy. <laughs> it never ends. What the fuck? I cut it and then a bunch of new stuff appeared. I'm trying to clear out this area. Oh. <gasps> oh, we got double babies. We got all the camera angles here. We're a professional production. Now watch you me sure play SpongeBob. About <laughs> you sure about that? You sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure about that. <laughs> Ooh, let's fulfill that one. We get a gift, AKA candy. <gasps> Wait, we got the good stuff for the big candy machine. Hold on. Probably not enough to fill it though. No. I'm so close though. <laughs> okay, we only need five and tartar for that one. So don't send anything with five and tartar, but. Oh my God, I could watch another ad already. No, that one has a five, but that one has a tartar. Mm. Let the ad play. Okay. Here we go. I didn't know you played video games too, JK. <laughs> oh, I usually don't play mobile games. But now I do! Me not muting the ad. Do, 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 do. Alright, how much longer on that tart? Oh my god, it's ready! The tart is ready! That means we get 30 more energy. Also, what's this? Oh, it's a task. I thought I had a new reward. Don't give me the exclamation symbol when there's no reward for me. Oh! We need 18 for the big guy. What if I just wait a minute for us to go up to 18? Although, weren't we trying to chip away at this little guy? Yeah, we gotta finish him off. <gasps> Ooh, we got another pearl. Should I make a five or... Or not five. I only have one. Oh, I need three. I need three pearls just to make one of each. Jesus, I need more oysters! <gasps> there is one available. One must have died. Here you go. Stop. It's too busy to make more stuff. I got too much on the go. You, all you oysters have to share that one oyster food, okay? What phone is that? Uh, Galaxy... S23 Ultra. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> so 
Sometimes I swear it's just faster to go individually. These just don't stack as nicely as the square ones do. It's like, in the time it takes me to make some nice rows, I could just plop a bunch of individual ones down. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of also why I stopped using the six-piece multi-placer tool and just use the three-piece one. Because it's like... Hard to get them to stay aligned. And then after you place them down, you have to like fix them, like nudge them. It's just faster sometimes to do individual. Definitely could have finished this by 3.30 if I wasn't playing Spongebob. <laughs> Has your sleep gone back to being okay? Yeah, actually. Sleeping with my wedge and my new form-fitting pillow. Although I sleep with the pillow upside down most of the time now. I used to just flip it upside down if I roll onto my side. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god, because it's like a U-shaped pillow, but I have it upside down. So the middle still sinks down, but it's more like a gradual slope on either side. And I've just been keeping it upside down. It's working nicely. Did you get more wood? Oh yeah. You actually can make wood in the SpongeBob game too. You didn't see me do that yet, but one of those buildings makes wood. You going to see the FNAF movie? So oh. sad. No. Never been a fan of the franchise. Although I did play one VR Five Nights at Freddy thing. Hey boy, what that pee pee do? Our friend brought over his VR set one time. It was really scary. Yeah, it's, he's like, what am I gonna do with all these bay bucks? Things in this world that we will never fully understand. Understand. We want answers. Someone's in the redeem. Someone's in the loyalty store. Did you see the Disney 100 video? Yeah. Nice. It was right. Sacred texts are not to be touched. I wore my Bailey J branded hoodie at Walmart and got so many compliments today. <gasps> That's right, people. You want strangers to compliment you? Get yourself a Bailey J sweatshirt today. 
Are there any in stock? Not really. <laughs> we're working on it, we're working on it. Okay, if I could stop hitting these buttons. Where I have the light box plugged in, it's barely reaching, so the buttons are in the worst possible corner right now, but it's okay. So sad. Hi, I've got to do dishes, but I've at least I've got your stream on now. Hope you had a good Halloween. Hey, Katie Cat. Yeah, I did have a good Halloween. Hmm, buy a sweater from Bailey J so more viewers come to my live stream. <laughs> they see it in the thumbnail of the stream and they're like, wait a minute. What is that? So something I might do going forward. I mean, the thing is, here's the thing. <laughs> the thing is, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm doing this for the next strawberry batch or if I'm going to wait till after this ne the next strawberry restock. But at some point, I got to stop with the ad sleeve thing, right? And so I think to, like as the design loses popularity since people have already purchased it, I think it makes sense to just do a single variant and I think it would be chest and sleeve. It would like all, I would only sell the chest and sleeve variant after a certain point. Cause it's hard to keep all the variants in stock as interest dwindles. But the question is, when do I switch to that? Like the Luna Moth, for example, is chest only. And that's just the way it is. That's kind of what I want to do with my designs is like, oh, this design's going to be a sleeve only. Oh, this design's going to be a chest only. This design's going to be both. And then it just is what it is. Halloween number 169. Was the wedge expensive? Thinking of getting one for me and my husband. He has issues. I have acid reflux at night too. I can't remember how much it was. I, it's a low level wedge because like you can get different heights. I think it was under a hundred. Cause I remember my pillow was the expensive thing. My pillow was like over a hundred bucks. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, this better be good. But we have the wedge underneath the mattress right now. <laughs> so I also found out that you can get the, like, the thing that raises your mattress up and down, it can fit in a regular bed frame. Because I was like, oh my god, we just got a bed set with, like, dressers, bed frame, all the fix-ins. And now I feel like I need a bed that inclines. But apparently they can fit. Well, you have to measure it. You have to, like, measure out and see which ones would fit. But, like, my mom did that. And Christian's parents did it, and my mom said hers. She just made sure to measure, and it fits in her existing bed frame. So she didn't have to get a new bed frame. Because now I'm like, I feel like maybe I should. Now that I know, like, the wedge thing works. Because the wedge is under our mattress, so it's a little lopsided. Because, like, one side is getting squished down from Christian's side of the bed. So I sleep slightly diagonally <laughs> to try to counteract it. But I don't like the wedge on the mattress because the wedge is more firm than our mattress and it bothers me. 
So, if we did the whole mattress raising thing, though, we'd have to get two twin mattresses. But, I don't know, maybe something for the fume germ. How many Sassy Santa bundles did you sell? Um, maybe... Oh, that's too high. We're not going that high. Uh, it's hard to say. I want to say between 15 and 20. Probably closer to 15. Maybe? Yeah. Which to me was a lot. Like... Maybe it is closer to 20, because someone got, like, three bundles. <laughs> but, like, I feel like I've just been flying through the Sassy Santa bags. I'm like, yes. So yeah, maybe it was more than that. Because I finished off what I had underneath the counter and then I went and got a small bin of Sassy Santas and we got completely through that and so then I had to get the second small bin of Sassy Santas. So maybe I'm undercounting. Okay, now I'm curious. I'm gonna look. I wanna look! I wanna know! Forget. I, I mean, I probably can just go to the product page because it's new. There's like a specific a analytic you have to go to to see the all time sales. But if you just go to the product info page, oops, sassy. So for the bundle, so it says 28 units. Oh my god, I was way off. So some of those are going to be the six-piece bundle. Some are going to be the four-piece bundle. I don't know how many of each. But. 28 bundles. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Bayleaf, thank you for the five months. I don't need it. I don't need it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I don't need it. Yes, you do. I need it! For Christmas this year, we're going to be hosting for my side of the family, which is exciting. Although we'll still end up at, in Medicine Hat at some point to see Christian's side of the fam. I'm like, don't drum along. They probably don't even hear the music at the same time I hear it. And it sounds like I'm drumming off beat. Okay, number two. Number two. There it is. Art-wise. Oh, I'm not doing any... No seasonal art this year. That's been the rule all year. No seasonal art this year. And then next year I'm going to get a super early start on like fall and Halloween stuff. Because I want that to be my biggest drop. Also if I'm ordering sketchbooks for fall, I got to make sure I order them like January. But, yeah, I just start way ahead of time so that fall slash Halloween stuff can release 
release early to mid-August. And then Christmas stuff can be up by like October 1st. So it has time to sell, you know. And a lot of people do their stuff, plan their stuff early. Plus like some people, they gotta order from my store so it gets to them and then they have to mail it out to people. And so they, they need their stuff in advance. So everything before Fall Slash Halloween might be kind of just like here and there. Like there'll be a Luna Moth drop. I do want some of the sweatshirts sold in November, but like we'll keep making more. And the rest of the Luna Moth products will release next year. So that'll probably be like the main collection that's not holiday themed. And I wouldn't mind getting out more just miscellaneous stuff that's not necessarily part of a collection Christmas sweater next year would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the hiccups. <clears throat> oh my god, we're gonna make it! We're gonna make it for 3 30! Because we're ending it a little early today. Because I got stuff to do. Where's my wax? Hey, why would I put it in there? I wasn't looking. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. want too much wax because it's just gonna get pulled out by the AB drills because they're so they stick so much to the wax because these are the ones with the shiny sparkly coating on them strip might not be very sticky because this might have like when I cut well no I just cut this today it should if it was along this crack I could see some not being very sticky this should be quite sticky I have just one thing to say to you <laughs> see ya Eva Get. <laughs> These AB drills, I tell ya. <laughs> Give me my wax back. So sad. It is. It just rips the wax out and then I have none left. Trying to 
trying to do like edge grabs where I'm barely grabbing the drill. Why, baby, why? Got some loose ones everywhere. Okay. We did it, we did it. We did like a rectangle here. <laughs> Approximately the size of this, but this didn't come off in one piece. It went a little lower than this. Approximately this size. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Glitzy glam. Wow. 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 Oh my god. I always forget how much area you can fill with these circular ones. Like, they were, I guess we as I figured out in a recent diamond painting stream, the circle drills are bigger. You see this? Picasso. So you can fill areas. Hidden by his own. By hand. Because back then, there weren't any computers. He could only do it with his hand and with real paint. So switch to autofocus and do a little and zoom see, out. This is how now. art works. This is how real art works. You see this? Wow. Masterpiece. Masterpiece, okay? Look. This, this so that's what, what I have art, done, okay? which is a very tiny section of the whole thing. I sit around and cook some soups and eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. At least real well. Ugh. Just a tiny section of the whole thing. <laughs> It'll take me years to finish this. Years, I say. Nice. This stream felt so short. <laughs> She's looking at me. If I'm lucky, Mr. Talent will rub his tentacles on my art. You're not finished. I expected more from you, Jay. Back then, you used to finish more. Menopause is coming next, I fear. You're horny. <laughs> Once a member, always a member. <laughs> You're such a little baby. You're such a little baby. Bella, thank you for the four months.
that gave us this cute little lullaby song for a little baby. Okay, where is the jar for this? Midna looks smaller. She's not. cleaning up now because if I don't do it now I'm never gonna do it. It's going back in its box. Which just sits right here by the packing station. Put away the cricket light box, bright pad, whatever it's called. put away all the Halloween decor. I gotta vacuum and mop the main floor. Well, at first I gotta like wipe down the kitchen, like wipe down the surface of all the appliances. I might even wipe down the surface of like the fronts of some of the cupboards. And like just make sure, like put away clean dishes, whatever. Just get everything cleared off. Do the counters before I do the floors. Windex, the table. Well, I just wanna vacuum like the couches and chairs. And that'll be plenty to keep me busy because I also have to, we'll have to watch Survivor at 6 o'clock. But also I have to edit this vlog. What am I having for dinner? I think like this uh, beef and noodle stir fry. Like a steak. It's steak. Steak and noodle. Stir fry. For some reason, it feels like Friday. I almost inhaled that. Ooh. Wait, wait. What does Kitty want some pets to eat? She's so soft. Oh, my so soft baby. In this drawer, it goes. This hangs on the side of my paint rolly cart. Got hooks on the side of it, and that's where I put all the masking tape. There we go. Yeah. This piece of plastic can be chucked. I forgot I started grading the remaining sketchbooks, but I didn't get very far. And I would like to get those graded and out of the way. I mean, maybe I could just still get them out of the way and not grade them. I always gotta move them. I'm moving all the sketchbook boxes away from the front of the doll case. Excuse me, oof. Haley leaving is my Roman Empire. I had a chicken sandwich quick on the way home from work to avoid missing more of the stream. Well, it's over now. <laughs> but thanks for joining me. We got in a little bit of diamond painting. I'm glad I finished that section and played some SpongeBob. <laughs> it was the perfect stream to get in some SpongeBob playing too because I was like, Mm, there's a top-down camera. <laughs> this works out.
bag in the air like you just don't care. Micro gaming stream. Ooh, I'm hungry. I need a little snack. Still playing Dreamlight Valley? No. No. Maybe, I mean, playing this Spongebob game makes me kind of want to get back into Dreamlight Valley, but... <sighs> yeah. That midnight leggy. Yeah. Oh, it's bath time over here. They added Bell and Beast last month. <laughs> It's about time! See, now I can start playing again. Okay, they got Bell and Beast. Okay, now I can come back. Beast as in he's in his beast form, right? Better be. Meow meow, we love you, Midna. <laughs> now I just gotta train them to do my algebra. I don't have any algebra to do. <laughs> I keep thinking, no, don't scratch your face. I'm like, you don't have face paint on anymore. You're fine. Anyway. I'm out of here. It's 3.33. Thanks for watching. Uh, it just feels so weird ending so early. But I have to. I have to. I like already don't have enough hours in the day <laughs> to finish everything. So thank you guys. And I'll see ya in the Saturday vlog. <laughs>